How's it everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video in today's video. We are checking out the Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 over on the private server once again. Simply so we can get a good feel for what these characters are about as we prepare to summon for them on the 9th anniversary over on JP Dokkan. But also for you global players to give you an idea of what you can anticipate here in the next couple of months in case you're thinking about summoning on anything here in the near future. So... These guys are a superhero's lead for 200%, and on their 18 and 12 key, they are raising attack and defense for the turn. Not much difference between the two. Their passive is key 3, a attack and defense 125%, and an additional key 3, attack and defense 125, when 30% or higher. They give superheroes, joint forces, or defenders of justice category allies key 3, att attack and defense 50%. They also have a chance to perform a critical hit 30%, and perform an additional super attack with, uh, per int's key sphere to obtain, up to twice per turn. Now, on the other hand, if we grab AGL or STR, they can grab a 12% critical hit rate increase and have an additional attack that has a 70% chance of becoming a super attack. So you really want to push those int key spheres. Um, now, on they also can gain 50% attack and defense and reduce damage received after performing three attacks. So, um, you know, ideally, if you get that hidden potential proc after grabbing two key sphere, two int key spheres, you'll be good to go. Now, they do have a standby that can be activated um, once we hit three attacks. So, we're going to try to push that here in this video if we can. So, um, not the best setup here. So, we're just going to kind of have to roll with it. Um, hoping this will drop the way I want. No, not at all. All right. So, uh, we're not even going to get the let's grab that all right and all right so we're not going to get the additional key spheres this turn but this turn linked with the piccolo attack is pretty good defense leaves a little bit to be desired we've only got two links active so let's see hopefully we can just make it through this turn um, we want to get the Gamma one over here, so we are running the Blue Zone, uh, Blue Evolution Vegeta event, simply because it is one of the newer, harder events that, um, you know, we don't need too much build for the Gamma, so it's a little bit shorter for them. Uh, they also have type advantage here, which is the main reason I chose this event, so we'll go with it. Alright, here we go. So, 8.3 three this turn. There we go. Alright, so we do get the additional attack. Now, I'm not sure if this is the hidden potential proc or what. There we go. No, this is the hidden potential proc. So now they have their damage reduction active. Alright, and now they're Double digits. All right, and okay. So let's see how we take the super because I think this is a pretty double digits. Nice. And what does this super hit for? Actually, okay. So this super hits for one point two. So they just tanked a one point two mil super for double digits. I I don't know. That seems pretty good to me. Oh, hey, there goes that five dodge. All right, excellent. All right, so uh, this is going to be a little crazy here. Okay, so we're going to have to bank on these guys' dodge then. Uh, we got a really bad setup here. Getting Gohan over here was not good. Okay, so we're going to have to bank on 18 and Krillin's dodge. There we go, we get one. Oh boy. Okay. Well, at least they can start building. Now, they lose 180% of their attack and defense here. There we go. There we go. We get the dodge. There we go. Okay, they're safe. Okay, and then everybody else is going to be okay this turn. So, perfect. Um, wow. <laughs> Talk about unlucky there. Uh, and, you know, we, and we're gonna have to do this for one more turn because Beast Gohan is in slot 7. I wanted to do Beast Gohan and Gochita together just to see how they work together, being that they are the two 
you know, they, they are the two super class LRs that released there in this anniversary. And I just want to see if they work together since our main focus here is Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. All right, nice. Double digits. Perfect. All right, so now we just need Gamma 1 to do his thing. All right, that first attack's a little scary for him. All right, so we can actually stand by these gammas. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's do. Let's send off the beast and let's stand the stand by these guys. Alright, excellent. Okay, so now... Now that we're in standby here, if we want to take a look at what they're doing now, so... I don't think it shows it in English, right? Yeah, no, it's not. Okay, so... Uh, in, in standby here, these guys um, have key 6. Attack and defense 250%. They reduce damage received by 50%. They get an additional attack and defense 50% when attacking. They're still giving the uh, buff for joint forces, defenders of justice, and superhero. They also have a... I mean, basically all of their... Passive is the same, the int key spheres, ATL key spheres. Uh, the only thing that's changed is the increase to the 250% and the damage reduction by 50%. Now, on their super attack, though, the 18 key greatly raises attack and defense for the turn and also raises allies' defense 50% for the turn as well. Now, all we have to do is um, build the charge counter by 100% uh, per uh attack we do so and then we can launch the their finish skill so let's see so it, it works almost exactly the same as trunks's so we're gonna put them in slot one because with what they're doing we should be able to yeah okay so 300k defense but remember we have 50 percent damage reduction here there we go and then we'll send off Beast here, so... Um... Oh, hey, we get a dodge. We'll take that. I'm not sure how much we would have taken there. So 1.2 million, that's... Okay, so that, that extra attack they're getting in the standby is really good. There we go. Nice. Ooh, hey, and they proc the third. Okay. So everybody else this turn has the extra 50% defense. Now, I don't know if Piccolo kills here. He might. He might not. He might. He will. Yeah, if he gets a critical hit. Or even without it, I think he does with all the hits he's taken already. Yeah, he does. Okay, so... <laughs> All right, so exactly what I wanted to happen, right? All right, so this is where things are going to get a little tricky. Okay, so let's grab that. Let's grab that. And then let's take that. And so once again, we just need to rely on their dodge. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to be the case. Yeah, so they don't have a whole lot of defense, so they need slot one protection. I almost wouldn't want to run two of them, to be completely honest. Or at least if you are, you know, have better, you know, better setups. Don't get, like, like if we didn't have Gohan slot seven like we did, this would have actually been f a fine turn, because we know Gohan can tank. 
right? Like, like, like we literally had the worst possible rotations we could have had here. And yet, somehow, we're still pulling through. There we go. Honestly, I'd be pretty happy if he supered them right now. <laughs> but knowing my luck, he's going to super Krillin and 18, and they're not going to dodge. Oh, nope, here it is. Perfect, okay. So they should tank this pretty well. What? What? How much does this super do? Yep, that's pretty good. Um, considering how much? How much is this total super? One point seven mil. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's good. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right. So as long as Krillin and eighteen proc their dodge, I think that's they're good. Now my only question about their defense is if it resets every turn, right? Because their defense is, but they lose the hundred percent, eighty percent after getting hit, right? But I don't know if that's for the turn. We should have looked at it, but I mean, they're, we're not really showcasing them. And if they dodge, it's not going to matter anyways, right? There we go. All right, Kojita's tanking double digits at this point. Okay, so we just need Krillin and 18 to dodge two attacks. That's That can't be too much to ask for, right? They built up attack quick, though. They do builds with their super attack, so, you know, I'm not surprised there. How much does this guy... There we go, we get the attack. There we go. All right, perfect. So it worked out. Okay, so now we got a turn we can actually be proud of. All right, so we can activate their finish skill... Um, so let's put them in the middle here. So we got all links active. Let's do this finish skill. This OST does not match the moment. It does not. Oh boy, look at that. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, I am pretty impressed with that. Alright. Alright, so there you have it, folks. There is the Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 pre-showcase. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with them, you know, despite the fact that they had that god-awful start with uh, all of our rotations all messed up. We did get things kind of where we wanted them to at the end, and I mean, really, with these private server showcases, they, to me, they... I'm going to treat them differently than, uh, you know, my typical 55% showcases. Really, what I want to do with him, them here in these showcases is take them into the hardest fights in the game and see how they do. Not necessarily watch them stack up and build all these crazy defenses. Obviously, we're still going to check those numbers out, but, I mean, uh, like I said in the Beast Gohan video... There's currently like seven fights that are all contenders for the hardest fight in the game right now uh, as of the ninth anniversary because they and they all work differently, right? Like this is a rather short fight, but it's the only one that they had type dis uh, type advantage, which is the main reason I chose it for them. Um, and they did pretty well, despite the fact that we had that awful setup, right? They were they. Two links active with Piccolo, and they still, you know, held their own, right? Able to get up to that 50% damage reduction and then stand by as soon as we needed them to, right? Be, I mean, Beast Gohan didn't do much here in this video, but that's probably a good thing because it let Gamma shine. And we also got to see, you know, kind of when, if you're forced to put them in slot one, it's not the worst thing in the world, right? Taking... I mean, granted, they were type advantage. Taking that kind of damage from an in-game boss like this free super is pretty darn good in my opinion especially for a unit that's not designed to be in slot one so i'm gonna go ahead and give them that one so anyways guys that is it for the video if you like the video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and in the comments down below let me know what do you think of the gamma one and gamma two now we didn't really get to see what happens after gamma one uh after he becomes just Gamma 1, right? Like, after you use the Core Breaker and the fight still goes on, um, 
you know, he returns to just game one, but nothing really changes for him. He just kind of resorts back to the way he was before, just minus the uh, Gamma 2, um, I believe. There's almost no change to his main passive, other than he has an inherent 15% damage reduction. Um, actually, 30 if he's above 30%. Um, so, honestly, pretty good uh unit i i like beast gohan more obviously i think beast gohan's going to be far and above better than this unit um but that isn't to say that these guys are bad so anyways guys like i said if that's it for the video if nothing else thanks for watching and aloha